Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this consultation video series. We're gonna walk you through all kinds of homeowners across North America who've taken advantage of our free consultation. Where We're gonna walk you through all kinds of different tips and tools and tricks to go and effectively light your home with landscape lighting. So to get your own free video consultation, just send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and I'm gonna get back to you with your own customized video presentation. Or go check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or watch more of our great videos on how to install landscape lighting on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm gonna try and show you a little wiring tip here because this is a question I get all the time and guys will hook up all their lights and they get to the light and everything's working and they hook up their last light and all of a sudden it's not working. Uh, and it's typically because that last fixture on the line seems to tend, tends to give people some confusion. I can't even say it. So, uh, so we're getting poured on here, but I'm gonna show you uh, the last fixture on the line here and how we're gonna go and wire that. And if you want a better uh, definition and diagram, go to YouTube, search Lighting Doctor Wiring Diagram, and I give you a really, really thorough example of this. But So I've got my last fixture right here, and I've got my, my two wires that come off of that fixture, right? And then I've got my 12-2 wire that is coming to the last fixture. So I don't have another wire going to another one. This is it. This is the end. So what most people do is they just end up using one connector and putting all the wires in and then it shorts everything. So, but that's, that's not how you do it. Even on this last fixture, you still need two of your connectors. So what you're going to do, again, you're going to have your 12-2 wire and you're going to split that and you're going to take one of those wires and you're going to throw it in the big port on your BVS2 connectors. And then you're going to take one wire from your actual fixture and you're gonna put it in one of the small ports on that same connector. So you're gonna have, on the last fixture, you're gonna have one extra hole for wire. You don't need to use that, you've only got two wires coming in. And then you need to do that one more time because you still have another wire to your, from your fixture and you still have another wire, another 12-2 wire coming in. So same thing. You're gonna throw that 12-2 wire in the big port and you are gonna throw that small wire in the smaller port from your fixture and then still at that last light you still have the two connections the only difference with this and one in line is one in line that extra hole is going to have the 12 2 wire that goes out to your next light on both of these right because this is our last fixture you have that hole empty so um, I like using these BVS2 snap lock connectors I also like using these um, these DBRY connectors, which I talked a lot about, which same idea, except the only difference is the wires just screw into this morette, and this morette slides into this waterproofing tube. So it doesn't matter what you use, the big two things to keep in mind is one, some type of waterproofing. It's gotta be gel filled of some sort. Those connectors that you buy at Home Depot, and places like that, that pierce the wire, um, stay away from those. If they have the those connectors built right onto the fixture and you still want to use that fixture, cut them off and use a proper one that's uh, got some kind of sealant in it to make that a waterproof connection or I promise you, you'll be digging up that connection. And the other thing is something that has a mechanical connection. So what that means is something that will hold the wires from being pulled apart. These ones I like because they snap tight and once the wires are in there, they don't come out. Same with these. Once you got the wires in there and these big gel filled tubes and you snap this shut, you're not pulling the wires out of that. So some people will just use those gel filled morettes, which is fine, they have that waterproofing, but then you gotta wrap them with tape or zip tie the wires together, do something so you can't pull those wires together. Or again, I promise you, you're gonna be digging up down the road. So there's all kinds of other wire connectors that are out there, but they need those two components, waterproofing and that mechanical connection to keep those wires from coming apart. So. Hope that helps. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape. And be sure if you want your own free consultation video just like that one, send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.